Hi, I'm Chris the Entertainment Man Bisco, and welcome to the Entertainment Man Talk Show. Tape. On, in the camera, so I have to redo it, and I didn't, I couldn't get Sis to do this with me, so I am stuck on my own doing it. I apologize for any inconvenience of the order of filming. Um, there will be a, there is a special news bulletin on this board, on the website, or my video website, for all these projects. They'll be on the website. So, uh, I had to sign out the camera for the weekend and bring it home until, bring it uh, to the house and uh, do the work here. So, this is where I am. I'm in my backyard. It's a gorgeous evening out. I'm wearing my flannel top. So actually, I, instead of Chris the Entertainment Man Bisco, it should be Chris the Flannel Man Bisco today. And of course, get my tag on and whatnot. Um, tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, Mission and Oshawa Entertainment today. Um, the mission started down at the lake in the uh, gazebo, um, where you'll see the second episode that follows right after this one. It's supposed to be back to back. It still is. Don't worry. Uh, just say it was the night before, let's, let's just say it's the night before that filming, but not to confuse you, it follows after this one, like in the regular order it is in right now, it, it's accessible down at Lakeview Park, and um, why was I doing this, was because I wanted, it was part of a school project I was doing at the time, for my media class, Grade 11 media class, EMS 301, I believe. The, the, my teacher kept teasing me about it. Yeah, right. So we, uh, I had to come up with a project called the Entertainment Man. Um, sorry, the Mission. So I said call it the Mission. I got my friend Eric Button involved with this, and so. Uh, we uh, started planning, we decided to have it be kind of like the Amazing Race, kind of, sort of, but clean style. Not copywriting, I think, we just called it the mission. I guess it was just about this one team making it to the final, to the cross, the finish line there, to the cross, the, the big red, the white ribbon that would be right across. Um, so, kind of something like that, sort of like that other show I just mentioned. Um, so we started planning and whatnot. Uh, we uh, actually had a meeting at the gallery, Albert McLaughlin Gallery. We filmed there once, the one time we had a meeting there. So we went there, met Holly, and uh, she let us film there. And then, so she said, okay, and then we did the, down to the lake, we did the rundown, and then we we went all the way up to the North Hope Bridge Park and North uh, Oshawa Park and whatnot. Uh, so that was the first, that was the rundown day mostly. Uh, the day before the filming of the mission, Eric called me at home, here at home at, to be exact, saying the teams have flopped. So I had to call Holly at the gallery. And I had to tell her we have a dilemma and it'll be only Eric and I. Eric said, let's do a project, him and I only. So that work brings in the start of uh, the new name of the, sh the project. And um, we're going to, it's the long story really, I, I should really have a chair here. I just don't want to stand, sit here, stand here forever talking about it. But, um, pretty much, it was during the winter time, where it was cold, and you would not see the green trees, the nice lilac trees over here that's smelling. I think you can see it, can't you? There you go. Ow, branch. Yeah, it smells, oh, it smells awesome. Couldn't smell this. It was just white all over the place. It's winter. And we had a lot of wind, snow on the rundown day. We had a lot of snow. Um, 
think on the actual filming day we did it. Uh, as we, so yeah, it was snowing and whatnot. We managed to do it all right. We did not have the camera with us. We uh, actually happened to have nothing with us. Just our script, our outline of what we wanted to do for the day. So uh, we pretty much, pretty much uh, did that. We had our notes. We kind of okay. We'll do this. I was taking notes. We're gonna put it here, and we're gonna put it here, and put it there, and back there, or whatever what it was. Don't have any of the information anymore. I've got rid of it. The reason is on the next episode of Entertainment and Doctro. But for right now, um, this is gonna bring us into the new name, the new idea. But we have to go in the commercial. So we'll talk about after this. Welcome back. All right. Um, where were we? Hmm. You might. Oh. Day. Try to figure out why were we doing. Okay, yeah. We did. Why were we doing? It? Yeah, that before the break we were doing. Why were we doing this? Now we're gonna talk about. We did both day for filming a mission. All right. Since that's all out of the way. The start of Oshawa Entertainment today. O E T for short. O E T. O E T. O E T. I guess you can call it. And compare it to the next part of it. Um. So Eric and I decided we're going to do an entertainment show called Oshawa Entertainment Today, which is only based in Oshawa, just the city of Oshawa, which holds, like I said. On the last episode, when we were introducing the team, um, we were talking about Oshawa, uh, about Oshawa, where I was born. It only holds about 159,000, and there is there was a lot to see there. Uh, we decided to, we took a lot of things out of that, and we went into um, we took out a lot of the locations that were necessary. We kind of went into the ones that uh, kind of that were necessary, like uh, attractions, like Paint Automobile Museum, Parkwood Estate, Parkwood Estate, sorry, and the airport, General Sikorsky Hall. That's where the uh, um, the Fiesta Week is part of it. It's one on all of two as well. Um, there's also Fiesta Week, and then Memorial Park, which is host to the Remembrance Day ceremonies, Christmas uh, ceremonies, laying the tree and all that, and the music, and the counselors, and the mayor there, and all that. Uh, and then, of course, the memorial there. That's the reason they call it Memorial Park. And we did the, uh, we started down at the lake, at the uh, Robinson House, the Henry House, and the, G the Guy House. Killing Guy, it's called Guy House. And that was the one that was on fire. So we uh, decided to do that instead, and it was different. Honestly, it was different. It was a different thing to do. Um, and then uh, we came up to the long, long filming day. So we, I started. I think we started about 10:30 in the morning. We started. I think 10.30 we started. We went down the lake. We did the, the lake. Oh, and I just, just got to check something. We're going to take another quick break. We're going to back to these messages. Our camera. Make sure the camera was on to the stopwatch. So I apologize for that convenience. I think now we're getting nitty gritty. Now we're getting the camera to work a lot better now. It's more steady. You can see what... You can see everything much better. Uh, back to um, Oshawa Entertainment today. We uh, actually, going back to the beginning of the story of Oshawa Entertainment today, when we brought this into play, uh, we uh, actually, we uh, talked about it at the bowling, because Eric was part of the bowling, uh, my bowling league on Friday night. And uh, let's talk at bowling tonight, and we'll figure out what we want to do for the project to get it back and up and going. So uh, 
we uh, talked about it, and we, uh, like I said, we uh, kind of took out the unnecessary areas, put that over in the trash, we uh, canned it, we threw it away, and then we got all the necessary stuff, what we want to do, and we decided, let's, let's do this, let's get it done, let's, let's get her done and get it finished, and we came up with, we, the locations we did, we did keep was the museums on the lake, the, the uh, murals, actually murals were brand new, Memorial Park we kept, uh, the Canadian Automotive Museum, and then uh, the Robert McLaughlin Gallery we kept, then we uh, kept Park Wood, we kept uh, General Sikorsky Hall, actually General Sikorsky Hall was new, and so was the uh, Oshawa Aviation Expo, uh, Oshawa Airport, home of the, the, Canadian, uh, the Canadian Aviation Expo, and then we Actually, we took out Troll Bridge Park and North Oshawa Park weren't uh, necessary, so we we took it, we canned it away, so it's gone. It's out of the park, home run. So we got rid of that. Now back to the filming day, we uh, did really well. Again, it was windy, so we had to put the wind cut. Not like tonight, it's gorgeous out here. The sun's still a little bit shining. It's getting darker as the time goes on but we it was windy I think I believe it was raining this time around and we had to work with it because we had to get it done we had to get it done quick 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 and we could have kept the um we could have actually kept the uh gallery scenery and do it on a good day but we said no let's do it I didn't care about the wind I, if I known about the the uh, wind cut thing on the camera, I would have put it on, but I didn't think of it. So we went, we did the museums down there, E House, Robinson House, Henry House, and we moved on. And then uh, actually, before the those houses, we did just by the park. Then the those houses. Then we moved up to the murals. We talked about the murals there a little bit, and then uh, we went on. We went across the street to Memorial Park, talked about some of the murals there. We turned the camera around to the aviation, uh, the Canadian uh, um, Automotive Museum. We did that. Then we did the whole entire park of Memorial Park. Then the gallery. And then we went up to Parkwood. And then General Sikorsky and then Oshawa Aviation. And then back down to Rosslyn, across to the north south fields of the airport did the museum there I forget what it's called and then we went all the way back up to the north to the little Usher little theater then that was it we were done so that was our uh, final our whole entire long filming day of the of filming we're gonna take another quick break so I can get my voice back again we'll be right back to these messages Okay, welcome back. I just had a little chat with my neighbor during the time I was on break there. So, it was good. Good timing. So, the final product. We're, almost, we're halfway through the show already. It's crazy. It's by I'm using only one, front, one uh, tape and one shot. It's crazy. I'm going to do two episodes and one tape. Huh. Okay, uh, let's see, final product, uh, it was good, it was a good final product, uh, people really, really, really enjoyed it, the, my fellow classmates really enjoyed the show, it was, it was a hoot to have, and, uh, it was good, but, as it turned out, later in the, later on, as you know, as you find out in the next episode, things didn't turn out too good at the end. You'll see what I mean. Don't worry, I'm not going to say any more. But overall, this one was a great idea. Sometimes I wish... Uh, never mind. Well, they enjoyed it. They had a laugh. 
they even have had this film may not this show may not be copyrighted with unless with permission. Uh, this for a who that was pretty funny. And uh, actually we're gonna be having a little reu reunion in the we're gonna be having a reunion in uh in January. And you'll see why, what I mean. But we're gonna probably watch the first episode ever that was done. Again, just for a hoot. We're gonna have a little get together and we're gonna watch it and see it. But overall, they loved it. I don't know what my, what I got on that project. I had no clue what happened, how I did. I passed the course. So that means I must have done well on the video portion of it all. And they, uh, probably really enjoyed it a lot. Now, the refilms. Well, um, it's a long story. Let me make it short. Shorter version would be probably better. I'm going to be rambling on here until midnight. It'll be dark. You probably won't see me. It'll be dark behind me, everywhere, around me. All you'll see is my glow, glow of the light from the camera on me. So I'll make this short. Okay, we refilmed it. The first time we refilmed it, we went to Holly. I went to Holly, saying, "Look, I want to refilm it. This is for another portion of the project. I want to try to better the project as it was before when it was with the with the um, class." She said, okay, but not, then she called back later, saying, "Chris, I'm not going to be able to help you. I'm moving up to a higher position in the gallery, so." She took, gave it to Juliana Winston, Juliana, um, so I went to her, said, okay, I'll give you all the information you need, I'll, let me know when you're going to film, blah, 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 I told her the day I was filming, Eric and I went there to refilm, she didn't have the information at the front desk, and, uh, like, I was sorry, I got, I stormed out there, stomping my feet like crazy and mad and whatnot. And then second time, I phoned her. I said I had the information. The guy, we were totally uh, clueless. We didn't know what to do. So she said, "Okay, I'll hopefully I'll have the information this time." And then let the front desk know. Went the second time. Again, the same thing happened. The guy says, "You're not allowed to film in here." Like I told, I had permission from Juliana Winston. Uh, Juliana, who was running the the whole uh, thing, like who was uh, letting me do it. So I was again. I stopped. No, man, I said some bad words, and it was a pretty picture. Trust me. And the third time, she actually she called me this time, and hey, sorry about the other day. You know, why don't you come when? when I'm in so that I can be with you during it and we did it big success it was great and this is it uh, about a wrap I'm gonna take another quick break before we head off I'll tell you what we're doing on the next episode of, Derm of uh, the entertainment man talk show so we'll be right back after these messages we'll be right <laughs> wrong one <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages. Alright, welcome back. This is a wrap. Next time on the Entertainment Man Talk Show, we're going to the lake. And we'll be talking about Durham Entertainment Today. Which is the big sequel, the big uh, surprise I've been waiting to tell you from the beginning of this episode. It'll be great. Uh, it'll be on a special location. From everyone here at the Entertainment Man Talk Show, I'm Chris Bisco, signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the lake for another edition of the Entertainment Man Talk Show. See you later.